Since almost 15,000 years ago, when dogs were first domesticated, people have had an unbreakable relationship with them. Your dog is exhibiting this relationship when he welcomes you at the door with a wagging tail or snuggle up next to you when he notices that you are having a terrible day. When this relationship is disrupted, it is equally apparent, but these powerful ties don't come about without your work. When dogs and their pet parents undertake activities together, such as going on walks and practicing commands, their bonds get stronger. Here are the nine ways by which you can bond with your dog. The video is going to be very interesting, so make sure you stuck at end. Now let's get started. Number nine, pay attention to your dog's likes and dislikes. If you are aware of the activities and foods that your dog enjoys most, you will be able to provide them with exactly what it is that they desire making you the source of everything great in their world. Keep a record of the things that your dog just cannot stand. Knowing the things that the majority of dogs find unpleasant is a good place to start. Some of these things include pats on the head, smells of citrus or strong florals, loud sounds, being gazed at, being dressed up in garments that inhibit their mobility to move, and hugs. Number 8. Go for a walk in a new place. Do you become bored with the same old thing? Most likely so is your dog, too. Get outside and travel the world with your friends. Visit a new park or trail. Visit a new business that welcomes dogs. Or go for your usual stroll in a different area. True socialization involves adopting a generally optimistic attitude on life. Your dog will be better socialized and ready for life if he has more pleasant life experiences. Additionally, because you gave your dog several opportunities to gain confidence, he will be better equipped to face new, unanticipated encounters. Number 7. Learn Canine Body Language Did you know that both before they are joyful and when they're anxious, dogs wag their tails? Dogs use their entire bodies as a means of communication. You must thus be aware of what to look for in order to deduce how your popper is now feeling. The emotions that your dog is feeling may be deduced from his body language if you learn to read it. And with that degree of comprehension comes the natural progression of your connection to the next level. Number 6. Train your dog every single day Dogs have an insatiable need for mental stimulation, and they take great joy in working. Because your dog is always observing and learning from you, regardless of whether or not you are aware of it, it is important to make a deliberate effort to get the most out of every moment. It is important to ensure that your dog receives some type of training and positive reinforcement on a regular basis. Whether it takes the form of teaching them a new trick or including small obedience drills into their daily walks. Number 5. Give them their own space. Giving your dog a private space might help build their confidence and trust in you. Even while spending time with your pets is enjoyable, occasionally they require a break. Dogs are den creatures, so many of them like having a place to withdraw to and unwind, such as a cozy dog bed in a peaceful area. They can retreat to their safe place for some alone, relaxation, or to deal with stressful occasions like thunderstorms, fireworks, celebrations, or the birth of a new baby. They should always have easy access to their secure place. Number 4. Pet Your Pup Petting your dog is an activity that will make both of you feel good. It will put your pet at ease, and it will also put you in a relaxed state. A stress hormone known as cortisol was shown to be greatly decreased in adults after only 10 minutes of caressing a dog or cat, according to a study conducted by Washington State University. According to research conducted by the National Institutes of Health, it can also improve one's mood. Therefore, Stroking your canine companion may be one of the least difficult and most beneficial methods to bond with your four-legged pal. Number 3. Become close with your dog. You should begin speaking with your new friend as soon as they have thoroughly examined you and look to be at ease in your presence. As soon as he shows any sign of interest, you should immediately begin addressing his by name and complimenting his as a wonderful dog in a calm and composed tone of voice. When he comes over here, be sure to offer a snack or a pet. After you have spent some time getting to know his, you should pull out a toy and start playing with her. This will show us that you are a kind friend who he can depend on while at the same time providing him with some much-needed enjoyment. Number 2. Make time to have fun and relax. Having fun together is another crucial component in the process of building good relationships. Because you will be the focus of all of your dog's enthusiasm during games like tug-of-war, chase, fetch, and find it. You and your dog will develop a closer relationship as a result of participating in these activities together. He will admire your cheerful disposition, so don't be scared to act goofy and have a wonderful time. Number 1. Communication is key. To create a solid link between dog and owner, 
communication must be open, constant, and positive. When interacting with them, be mindful of your emotions and energy levels and use consistent language for orders. Dogs pick up on our energy and emotions and respond to our body language. We normally advise speaking to your dog in a soothing, steady, and encouraging tone. Your dog will often become highly eager and driven to perform anything you want them to if you use an exuberant tone or energy. This is communication will strong bond of both you and your dog. Hope you guys enjoyed our video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.